and welcome. If you follow my videos a lot, you may know that I don't like having a lot of unnecessary things installed on my system. That's true on my phone. I have very few uh, apps installed. Almost everything I do on my phone is uh, either through the Termux shell, and I use the same programs I use in that as I do on my desktop, or uh, through web links to web applications I've written on my own server. And 99% of the stuff I do on my phone is one of those two things. Uh, but same goes with my web browser. Uh, extensions are great, but besides extensions that I've written myself, I usually only have three extensions installed. One of them being Vimium. Vimium is a great extension. It's available for Chrome slash Chromium and uh, also Firefox, although I have not tried it in Firefox myself. And what Vimium does is it gives you Vim key bindings for a lot of functionality in your web browser. And your web browser probably actually has more key bindings than you may realize. Uh, almost everything that Vim, not, not everything, but a lot of the things Vimium does, Chrome has its own keyboard shortcuts for those things. But what Vimium does, again, is it makes it the same key bindings to similar functionality in Vimium, or Vim. And if you use Vim, that makes it very nice uh, so let's have a look at exactly what it does. So here I am, I'm, I'm on my web page, and you can see up here is I have this blue circle with a V in it, uh, saying that Vimium is running fully on this site. Sometimes that blue circle is only half filled in, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, but what I can do here is I can do J on my keyboard to scroll down and K to scroll up, which is very nice. Now you might say, oh, I have the arrow keys that allow me to do that, which is true, but they're off your home row of keys, so it's a little bit more of a hand movement, but also it's not the same. This is smooth scrolling. Watch, I hit J and it starts scrolling down. I hit K and it starts scrolling up. Now watch the same thing when I hit the arrow keys down. It moves a little bit, pauses, and then goes because it's waiting for that key to repeat. I can hit up and it, pauses. it goes a little bit, pauses, and moves up. So this is very nice. So these are, this is the arrow keys. You see the difference? Now I do J and it just starts scrolling smoothly. Uh, another advantage of this, I've had a few times where I go to a website and it has this big ad blocker thing on the page and I'll use one of the few plugins I have installed is ad blocker and I'll remove that ad with ad blocker but then scrolling functionality so that overlay is gone but I can't use my mouse or the arrow keys to scroll up and down. There have been a few occasions where I do that but J and K still work and I can scroll up and down on the page uh, even though that functionality seems to have been disabled because they've disabled the keys and mouse, the arrow keys and mouse. Anyway, J and K are very nice. That's one of the main functionalities I use. And another thing is, so if I'm scrolling down on the page and uh, I want to go back to the top, what I can do is, just like in Vim, I hit GG and it brings me to the top of the page. And that's really nice, especially if you're on a page that uh, just keeps loading as you scroll down or even if it's just a big page, for example, like on Facebook, you know, you're scrolling through, scrolling through, scrolling through. Now you wanna go back all the way up to the top. Uh, and some websites and some browsers will have functionality. Like if you look at my web page, this page here in a mobile device, uh, let's see if it shows up when I go to this mobile view here. Um, yeah, I have a button here that when you're in a mobile view, you can click this button and it scrolls you back up to the top. Uh, also, I also have the menu up here that allows you to scroll to sections. But not every website has this little arrow here. Not every web browser has that. Well, in Vimium, again, if I'm scrolling down, I can be all the way at the bottom of the page. I hit GG and it scrolls back up. If I want to go all the way to the bottom of the page, I hit Shift G, so a capital G, just like in, in Vim. So I can go GG, G, GG, capital G. I can scroll up and down from the bottom of the page to the top of the page as fast as I want. Uh, and another function I use now, my page, if I load this up, after a few seconds, it scrolls down and brings you to the search bar. Not every website does that. Uh, and so if I was to go, let's say, Amazon as an example, almost every time I come here, I want to go to this search bar. Why wouldn't I? Well, I don't want to take my mouse and click on that. What you can press is GI, and it brings you to the first input on the page. So I'm in a habit that if I was to go to Amazon, as soon as I get here, I type GI and then I start typing what I want to look for. So GI is a great little um, key. And then also I just use the mouse just because I'm talking to you here. Uh, the, uh, let's, let's do this. Let me uh, open up a new tab. 
and I will go to Amazon again. I want to close Amazon. Uh, again, Chrome has a key. You hit Control W, it clo closes a tab. Um, but if I was to be at Amazon, the key binding for Vimium is it's just X, just letter X. And then to open up closed tabs, it would be Shift X. Now, you might be asking, how do I know all these commands? Well, once if you're on a page that Vimium is loaded on, you hit question mark and it brings up, actually what it will bring up is this, which are your basic functionality, but there's more to it. After these basic functionalities, there's a button right here that says show advanced commands and it will show a few more commands that aren't in those basic commands. And again, there's a lot of commands here. I use just a handful of these. So far, I've shown you the navigation, but another great functionality and one of the most useful things about this is if I hit F, it puts little letter, little yellow boxes with letters next to different anything that's clickable. And this works most of the time. There's a few pages that the way they have things uh, as clickable, it doesn't detect it, but it's very rare. Uh, but I click this and you see like, uh, up here at the top of my menu, I have S, A, C, D. If I want to go to the software section, I just hit D now, and it will bring me to whatever that link is. Now I can hit F, and then I can hit uh, M if I want to go to my script page. And then in here, I can hit F, and again, it gives letters for everything. And let's say I want to go to SH, and that'll be my HTML5 examples. Uh, and if I want to go back, I can hit Shift H to go back in history. Uh, and again, I can hit X to close a window. Now, uh, certain things that are frustrating when it comes to Vimium is, for example, if I reload my page here and I go, oh, I want to go to that to this first video, this little CNC link here. I'm going to hit F and it doesn't work because I'm in a text field. So obviously, if you're in a text field, you want to type. So Vimium's not going to function while you're in that text field. So there are times where I go to do something in Vimium and it doesn't work because I don't realize I'm in a text field. If you are in a text field, you just hit escape and now I can hit F and do it. So that's just something you gotta be aware of. If you're in a text field, obviously you can't type these keys for the Vimium shortcuts because you're typing in a text field. Just hit escape on your keyboard and then you can type in whatever. So again, F will bring you to a link. Let's go ahead and uh, open up Google. Oh, let me bring up another thing uh, about Vimium. So Vimium, again, it's a Chrome Chromium extension. So basically, it's injecting JavaScript into your page. I haven't actually looked at the code, but I'm assuming that's what it's doing because that's how extensions work. So a page has to actually load. So if I was to open up a new tab here, um, you notice Vimium is grayed out. Vimium is grayed out, so it's not running on this page because this isn't a page. This also happens when you're in a PDF file. So if you're in Chrome or Chromium uh, and you go to you open up PDF file, then you're going to start trying to hit J and K to scroll through it, and it's not going to work because it's not an HTML page, so it doesn't load that JavaScript. So be aware, keep an eye on this icon. If it's grayed out, that means Vimium is not running. Uh, so like, if I open a tab, I can't use the X key to close this, even if I wasn't clicked in that. Let's try that again. X isn't going to close anything. I can hit Control W, which is closing a window or a tab uh, in, in Chrome. That's the default keys. So be aware, if that is grayed out, that means Vimium's not running. But let's go here and just type in Linux, and we get Linux. So for an example, if I want to go to Linux Wikipedia page, I just hit F, and then I can hit G, and it'll bring me to the Wikipedia page. I can scroll down through here. I can see off to the side over here that, uh, let's say I want to go to that open source page. I hit F, and then I hit LA, and it opens it up. And you might, you know, if you're not into using the keyboard, this may not be a thing for you. But if you're someone like me who likes using the keyboard as much as possible, it's very useful. Another time it's very useful, I do have a Chromebook. Like it or hate it, I have a Chromebook. And I have Vimeo installed. And the Chromebook is a touchscreen Chromebook. I got it because I'm going to mostly use it as a tablet. And lots of times, lots of times, you know, touchscreens are great sometimes, other times they're not. But on my Chromebook, I have found quite often, and I don't know if it's, the, the, the touch screen or just Chromebook running slow, although it runs fairly well. If I click like with the touch screen on a link like this, I'd say 25% to a third of the time, instead of clicking that link, it brings up the context menu like that. It, it thinks that I'm long clicking. Most touch screens, if you hold for a, a couple of seconds, it thinks that you're right clicking and you want to open up a context menu. But I'll click real quick, just tap my finger on there and it brings up that menu and it's so frustrating because then I have to click somewhere else and then go back and click it again. But I use that keyboard 
and I don't have to worry about that. I just hit F and I can hit the, the, the keys I want and that's how I do it. And I, you know, I have a touchpad too, but I hate using touchpads. I'd much rather use a touch screen. Again, it just doesn't seem to function very well a lot of the time trying to click on links in a web browser on my Chromebook. You would think it would because that's what it's designed to do, but for most of the time it doesn't. But if I have that keyboard out, it's very simple. It's not an issue. So I, I definitely use it a lot in there. Now, let's say, oh, I want to uh, copy a link. So you can see right here we have uh, free so a link to the free software movement here. So again, F will give me the letters to go to that to that page. But if I hit YF, now if I hit DA, it actually has copied that link to my clipboard. So I can go paste it somewhere else. Or as you'll see in a future video, and the reason I'm showing you this today is I use that a lot when it comes to scripts I've written. I have scripts I've written that are linked to shortcuts on my keyboard that check my clipboard. So I can do a lot of things where I grab a, a URL and I have it sent to my phone, get a tiny URL, send it to my TV, uh, or another program that I want to open up that URL in, such as YouTube DL or MPV, which again, we'll get into in a future video. So again, YF, and then the letters will copy it, will yank it, so Y for yank, uh, the link to your clipboard. And so then I can paste it somewhere. So if I was to open up a new tab, I can hit Control V and you can see it has now pasted that URL in there. So here I've opened up a new tab, but let's say I wanted to uh, go to this um, Free Software Foundation. I want to open that up, but I don't want to open it up in this tab. I want to open up another tab. Instead of just hitting F and SA, I'll hit now Shift H to go back through history. I can hit Shift F, so a capital F, and I'll do SA. It opens up it in a new tab in the background, and then I can tab over to that tab with my keyboard. So again, once you have it installed, hit question mark to bring up the, uh, the help menu. You can hide uh, and show. Now, one more thing I want to show you is, let's say you go to a web page uh, that uses your keyboard a lot. Let's say you're playing an online game in your browser, and now Vimium's still gonna start grabbing those keys and it's not gonna work, and what, what you can do Let's say I wanted to disable Vim com Vimium completely on this page. I click up here and it's saying, you know, this URL, what keys do you want to exclude? I can put asterisk and, you know, I can add as many rules as I want and then click save. And it's saved. Now, if I refresh this page, you'll see that it's grayed out, meaning Vimium is now disabled. All Vimium keys are disabled on this page. And of course, if I want to remove that, I just click that and I can remove that and save the changes. And now when I refresh the page, I have to refresh the page because it's got to re-inject that JavaScript. And it didn't seem to, uh -oh, I don't know why, let's remove both of those. There we go, I had to remove that empty one as well. I put the asterisk, maybe you don't have to put the asterisk, maybe just having a blank thing disables it all. I always had to put the asterisk in there. Um, so one more thing is you can, again, partially disable. So if you want to disable certain keys, which I have done, if I go back to my page here and I go to one of my videos and I do J and it's going to open it up and I should disable this video so I don't get in trouble for watching a ad on my own video. Let's go ahead and pause that. Now, Fire, uh, Firefox, uh, uh, YouTube has a bunch of, uh, keyboard commands that you may or may not know of to control the video. For example, F will make the video full screen. And if you're watching a video, and I have no clue what video this is, so this is this is an ad, so let's just go ahead and skip whatever this is. You know, let, let's, let's do this. I don't know who video this is. Let's just go to Luke Smith. He has some good videos, so that way we're watching, at least giving someone I know a view. Um, so, Let's say I'm watching this video, I can hit F on my keyboard and it makes it full screen. But you know, F normally in Vimium uh, brings up links. So I had to disable F on YouTube. And if I, I usually watch my videos at faster speed, you can hit your greater than or less than uh, symbols on your keyboard uh, to speed up or slow down a video. That way you don't have to go to the settings menu and go to speed and go to whatever. Uh, you can do that with your keyboard. So I have disabled those three keys and you see Vimium is now a half blue circle. I'll click that and you can see I've disabled those three keys because those are the three keys that I use on YouTube. Although I very rarely watch videos on the YouTube page, which is something I'm going to talk about in my next video, different ways I watch YouTube videos. Um, 
So that's it. That's a quick look at Vimeo. Quick look, 15 minutes, a little longer than I wanted it to be, but check it out. Vimeo is an awesome, awesome. And if let's let's see if I click here, can I go to? I thought maybe they had a link to their site. Let's go to Vimeo. Let's go. Oh, there, here it is. This is what I wanted to see. So GitHub I/O. You can see that it's on here. Let's go to GitHub page. So you can get the source code if you want. If you want to make modifications or add things to it, uh, you can do that because it is open source. I am not 100% sure what license it's under. Oh, MIT license. So it's something. Not GPL or anything cool like that. But anyway, Vimium, again, uh, I haven't tried it in Firefox, but I did before recording this video. I did Vimium Firefox. And it does look like there's a Vimium uh, FF. And so it looks like, I don't know if it's made by the same guy. What's this guy's name here? Yeah, same name, so I'm assuming the same guy. Check it out, Vimium. Sorry, I was reading stuff on the page, forgot that I was recording a video. Um, <laughs> check it out, great, uh, great little tool if you are a keyboard person like me. Thanks for watching. Please visit, again, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There you can search through all my videos from, from this channel, my second channel. Uh, you can go to the About section, read a little bit about me, not very much. Uh, software section, you can go to find different bits of code I have. And um, you can also support me here with Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash mailx1000. There's a link in the description of this video. Or you can also donate through uh, PayPal. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.